Hi, it's Brittany from Brittany's Art Vibes coming at you with another video. Today's video is going to be all about adding color to a black and white underpainting. A lot of portrait oil painters like to use underpaintings before they start adding layers of color. This is the painting that I've done for this video right here. It's a study of a 17th century portrait. It started off just as a black and white underpainting. So here's an example of an underpainting that I've done that I still have an added color to. This is a portrait of Beethoven, and I'll be adding color to it later on. You can also do underpaintings with burnt sienna, raw sienna, or really anything you want. Here's one that was done in raw umber. And here's one done with a burnt sienna. Titanium white was also used in both of these. So if you're interested in seeing how I painted the layers of color on top of this, then stay tuned. The first thing I do is start applying a skin color towards the top of the head. I am using a very light skin color, so just additional titanium white. Basically, the color for this is different variations of titanium white, yellow ochre, and medium cadmium red. So I'm focusing on cadmium red more so in the cheeks. And then when I get to that lip color, I am just using a more saturated um, pigment so a little bit more of that cadmium red and also I'm using a little bit of burnt sienna in that which is nice burnt sienna has a really nice red warm undertone so it's really really helpful for portraits I would definitely recommend getting burnt sienna at this point I'm just going in with a small brush and doing some dark areas like the nostril of the nose and then some eyeliner as well and I'm using a raw umber for that and then I go in and start sculpting out the upper eyelid with a very um a very dulled down burnt umber and I'm doling that down with titanium white um, the top of the eyelid is always a little bit brighter than the edges just to show some form and now I'm adding color to the flowers and I'm doing that in not such a smooth way as I'm applying the skin. Now we're just sculpting the nose out. It's a little bit darker towards the end and darker at the very top, but in the middle there is a light area. So I'm just blending that out. Um, you'll notice that I'm using a variety of brushes here. And if you look at the ends of the brushes, although it is moving very quickly, I have the brushes designated um, for a specific color story. So my Whenever I'm using a light color, I use certain brushes. And then whenever I'm using darker colors, I use a different set of brushes. And I tend to do a lot of blending, so I even have a whole set of brushes that I keep primarily clean and I just use to go back and kind of soften edges and blend things together and make it have that nice smooth feeling to them. So at this point, I'm starting to work on the bow. Um, I just kind of add a very like mid-tone to the bow. Um, I'm using white and cadmium red basically for that pink and then it does have a little bit of a salmon to it so I'm actually adding a little bit of Indian yellow as well and then I just go into the really dark areas of the bow with um, a more saturated version of that and I add a little burnt sienna to it. And now I'm just working on the eye details. I added some green to the eyes. I couldn't exactly tell in the reference picture what the like color of the eye was because I'm just doing a study from a painting and it's kind of hard to find like really good quality photographs of those old master paintings. Um, so anyway, I usually just um, make up the eye color a little bit. So I decided green for this one. And now I'm going in um, with some color for the chest area. So um, because I did that underpainting underneath this, a lot of the values are already done for me. I'm just adding color on top of it. Um, and there will be another video, or there is another video, um, that is how to do an underpainting. And um, I'll put the link to that below. And so this video is just 
for um, adding color on top of it. Okay, so at this point I'm going in and just really bringing out those darker colors in the bow, adding some extra details to the eyes using a really teeny tiny little brush. There's me blending out. Um, like I said, I have some brushes just for blending. I'm now going in and adding more details to the lips to really make them look nice and full. Um, everybody's style is a little different. I tend to do really dark darks, really light lights, and blend them out to kind of get a sort of like a, a chibi effect almost. Um, so it just looks like very round. Um, okay, and then I'm now just going through adding little touches i added some more pink to the cheeks and i'm adding a purple for the shadow underneath um i don't like to use a whole lot of titanium or excuse me i don't like to use a whole lot of ivory black when doing the actual layers of color i tend to only use that in the underpaintings when i'm doing a black and white underpainting so for shadows i use a purple instead and the exact purple that i'm using for this painting is dioxine um, dioxazine purple. I always say that wrong. Um, and then at this point I'm just adding more of like a pink overlay to the bodice. Um, that's just like a decision that I made um, in the reference picture. It is like more of a yellow olive undertones on the chest and then pink undertones at top in the face. But I wanted to make those match a little bit more so I went ahead and added pink on top of that. Um, and now I'm adding the floral detailing to her um, dress there on the side. And then on the right side it actually didn't have flowers on the reference picture but I just thought it looked a little bit more balanced here that and at this point I am adding um, some volume to the kind of like bow area that's coming off to the right area and then I decided on this kind of like <laughs> yellow green for the background because it's a triadic color scheme um, pink blue and that green um, are going to look really good together because it's a triadic color scheme and I can do a video on color schemes later if you guys would want me to do that. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want me to do more videos like this that are walking you through different artistic processes that I go through. Again, there is going to be a link down below of the video that teaches you how to do a underpainting and um, definitely follow me at twitch.tv slash art vibes and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is Brittany's Art Vibes and you can see those um, in the um, screen in front of you right here. So thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a good day.